move back on a little bit. So I came home from work today and this is what I found. I guess the wind just blew them off. I guess I'll try to put them in again. Much, much, much later. Whoa. Holy mackerel, this is overflowing. It's almost 60 degrees out, so I guess the flow has uh, picked up a little. Yeah, this one's almost, this one's almost ready to overflow too. And this one. Wow. Oh, shoot. Okay. I gotta get a new container to put those in. I have an ale bucket, or an ale pail, as they call it. Uh, okay. This is my ale pail. I didn't have the cover for it, but this one's full. Um, so I gotta get another thing to put the sap in. Stuff that's out there, it'll probably fill Another one of these up pretty easily. So I went to Home Depot and I got a food grade bucket and I got a couple of lids. So I got my bucket here. one bucket. God. Okay. Maybe I should've got two buckets. Wonder what it'd be like if I just drank some of this. It just looks like water. It just tastes like slightly sweet water. Water. Alright, I'm gonna put these uh, lids on the buckets now. Dogs. I guess I'll bring those back into the shed until it's time to boil. Several bad puns later. Okay, we're gonna get the G spot here at uh, Ace Hardware. We're actually True Valley. True Valley? Yeah. Okay. I don't know what the difference is. We're gonna have to put that on something too. Yeah. It does this. Yeah. Just sit right on top of the pot. Chicken wire. I got chicken wire. <laughs> well, oh yeah, we use the chicken wire to just lay that over it. Yeah. We got some chicken wire from one of Matt's previous projects. You got a big bucket, two buckets of maple sap, cheese off. So far, we, we determined this is gonna make about a quarter maple syrup, and it's cost us over 60 bucks. Can't get the thing out of my pocket. That's getting the thing out of his pocket. The thing is cutters for the chicken wire. This 
is where our cheesecloth looks like. <laughs> Matt's gonna be pouring the sap. This is the sap. Uh, into here, I'm gonna hold, I'm gonna stabilize the, the screen while he does that. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so this is, uh, there are some still things that are floating in there. So Matt says we're going to have to do the secondary. When we filter it, you'll see it after when we filter it. Okay, we've been, uh, this has been on the heat for about, um, about 30 minutes, I would say. A little bit of steam coming off the top. So it's been, okay, so it's been, uh, Matt thinks about an hour. We're at a pretty ripping boil here. It boiled over a couple of times. I shut off the gas. Matt has been uh, scraping this, uh, the foam off the top. Uh. No. But it goes like that. And then there's a... We'll get more footage of that later. There you go. Look at that foam. Look at that beautiful foam. So we have a big plan that we started a fire. We're going to try to do boiling the second pot, at least starting the boil on the fire. This plan's going to go poorly. But <laughs> if all things work out right, maybe we'll have some uh, smoky maple syrup. Right? Oh, yeah, we're going to use this gate. Sort of like a grill. Grill to hold the pot out of the fire. Ah. <laughs> okay. All right, so we got these uh, big plumbing pipes that I had. Hang out, we're gonna lay some through here to kind of give it support and then pop it on top of the fire. I'm gonna put these bars in probably the width of the uh, the pot so the pot will sit right on the bars. We got Matt adding some some wood here, some wooden strips to the fire to get it super hot. These are like skinny strips. Those little strips he's breaking up right now are maple, so that's gonna be fun. I took a piece of uh, maple and I threw it into the fire. It's right here. I'm charring it up on both sides, and maybe we'll scrape off some of the char. Then we're gonna throw it into the pot to really give it like a charred, smoky flavor. Yeah. Come on, look at that. What's that called? Staving. It's yeah. like what you would do with like um, some like less expensive wines. Will rather than use the oak barrels, they use uh, stainless steel barrels and put oak staves in it to put that oak flavor into the wine. So we're doing that with maple. I don't know. I, this is all experimental, man. This pot is black. <laughs> See that it's gone down about uh, half an inch. Yeah. So it's, it's been what? Three quarters of an inch. How long? <laughs> Three hours. Three hours. It's gone down a little bit. It's a slow process doing it on the you fire. Wire this one is boiling down much faster, but I think we're running out of propane. Um. So we're probably just gonna have to fill it up tomorrow, continue the process tomorrow. Hopefully get everything done tomorrow. I thought we might get it done today, but I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay. So grab the piece out of the fire, here it is. Just gonna rub off some of that char. So it's not so charred. Anything that will come off, hopefully will come off now. Alright, I'm going to drop it in. Alright. Alright, so we're transferring from the hot pot into the cold bucket. Into the cold bucket. Just to uh, save it for tomorrow, or we'll finish working on this some more. You can see how much color it's gotten over there. One pot halfway down. We have a whole nother pot that... Let's see how. How are we going to do this all tomorrow? 
<laughs> Seems like a lot. All right, now we're pouring this one into a bucket. We're gonna do it with the stave. This one has not boiled down even half as much, so. All right. It's also super hot. Holy. You can see the color is still pretty clear on that. Oy. Okay, so we'll let that sit over overnight. The next day. All right, so we're starting off our second day of boiling. It's our maple, the one that has boiled down most. You can see what, what a dark color it is now. And we're not doing the fire today, just on the pot. See how far we get. This is the uh, stuff we were doing on the fire yesterday that we ended up throwing a piece of charred maple into. We're gonna taste it, let you know what we think. Matt, you wanna go first? Oh yeah. You can definitely taste the smoke in there. Is it? I guess that's it. Oh yeah. It's interesting. Oh my god, it smells like such great maple over here. It really does. It yeah. smells like uh, kettle corn, kind of. Yeah. We're going to add that to this once this starts boiling pretty good. It smells of gas again, so Matt's going to try to re... Yeah, when it boils over like that, it's been knocking off the flame. Okay, yeah, it's boiling. Holy! It's going. So why don't we add some of the other stuff into it? Okay, all right. We'll do we'll do a little bit by little bit. We added the wooden stave to the pot. It's been on there now for about. Two hours, probably. with the stave in the pot. Now we have both both uh, pots have been condensed into one pot now. Okay, so we settled in by the fire because it is uh, properly snowing out here now during our maple boil. I'm taking a picture of Matt while we I tell you this. Matt's warming, warming his tenders by the fire. One eternity later. Setting up the cheese cloth to filter the boiled down syrup. Into a new pot. We just took this off. It's looking pretty, pretty dark. We took these jars out of the oven. Oh, that's fogged up the lens. We uh, had these jars in the oven at two, what was it? 50. 250 to sanitize them. And that one over there, too. That's what we're able to filter out here. Okay, well, my brother had to leave because it's getting pretty late out and this is taking longer than we thought it was going to. It's still boiling. We cut it in half here so it would boil quicker. Um, and I'll just do this this one later on. We'll focus on this half to make the syrup with for the video. I'm going to transfer it into the smaller pot just so I can take the temperature of it easier. When it, when it reaches a temperature of 220 that's when it officially becomes maple syrup I did it recently it's about 200 right now all right so I got my candy thermometer in the up here and it has to reach a temperature of 220 which it's right, right about at 220 right now but yeah it's right at the temperature it should be right now let's transfer this into one of our pint glasses it's, I put the cheesecloth and I doubled it up a couple times to make sure I filter everything out that I want to. Very carefully I'm going to pour this into here. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's our maple syrup. Still got a little bit in here. Um, well, it's more than a little bit, but it's not going to be exact, but 
it's at the right temperature. It looks like it's the, the right thickness. And it tastes really good too, like maple syrup. So I think we did it. That's the, uh, the other half. It hasn't been boiled down. You can see it's a pretty big difference. So I'm gonna do this later on. We did it, maple syrup. It took a really long time. John had to go home early because he couldn't stick around and finish. It's almost eight o'clock now. And it took two full days to do this, pretty much. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe. Uh, we could really, really use the help from you guys commenting and giving us ideas and sharing the video. Uh, we're Jackson No Trade. See you next time.